there, my name is Brenda. I'm with My Work Software, and today we're going to be going over possible causes for why your orders are not syncing. So once our sync is set up, new WooCommerce um, orders should sync automatically to QuickBooks. However, if you're not seeing this happen, there might be a few possible causes. So the first thing to check would be your log. So if you go into settings and right under settings, if you click on log, there's gonna give you a couple of error messages. So if we scroll down here, for example, it says export, export order error, and then it'll give you an error code. If you're seeing this error code, please open a ticket with us and then we can further troubleshoot those issues for you. A second thing to do would be to go into your My Work Sync settings. And then you should go into default to ensure that all required dropdowns are set. So as you see, we're already in default and you wanna make sure all of these have something in them and they're set. After that, you wanna make sure that everything is mapped. So you are gonna to wanna to map your customers, your orders and your products. I'm sorry, not orders. Customers, products and payment methods. So for payment methods, you wanna have at least one payment method mapped so your orders can sync over properly. If you scroll down here, you'll have all your different payment gateways. So if you have PayPal or credit, um, credit card like Stripe, you would just enable those on or off. So make sure those are mapped. You should also map your products. So if you have products in WooCommerce and in QuickBooks, you would want to map those products as well. So as you see here, all your WooCommerce products will be here on the left and then your QuickBooks products on the right. You can manually map them or you can auto map them by name or by SKU. And this auto map feature is really neat because then you don't have to do any of the work. And then make sure to save and then your products are mapped. And the same thing with customers. So in customers, you would just go here and it would be the same thing for product mapping. You can auto map or you can manually map apples to oranges. If you don't have your, um, your products in WooCommerce and in QuickBooks or your customers, you can push them over. So the push page, you can then push existing data such as customers, orders, refunds, products, and inventory levels. So for customer push, if you want all your customers in WooCommerce, you can push your customers as well as your past orders. So another reason why your orders might not be syncing over is because they're past orders. So if you don't see them automatically syncing over, it's because they're not new orders. So you would just come here and select them all or select whichever one you want. And then from there, you can push them over. If you see that they're not synced, then you would just go back into that log and see why they didn't sync. And if you've done all of these things and your orders are still not syncing over, then please open a support ticket with us and we can then go ahead and troubleshoot any other issues for you.